So hey everyone, I thought I would just uh, throw up a quick video today of a deal I got yesterday at Sears. Uh, probably going to call this video deal alert or something like that. And I'm going to give more of an explanation of the price breakdown in the description of the video. But long story short, I got Craftsman 47412, the convertible snap ring pliers. Uh, those are USA made. They're made by Lang. You can buy them branded as Lang, branded as Channel Lock. You can get them at Home Depot as Channel Lock. You get them off the Snap-on truck as Blue Point. I think in that instance you're going to pay over $50 for them. Um, but they sell them under several different brands. I guess that's my point. But it's all the same set of convertible snap ring pliers. Uh, also these little ignition pliers Craftsman again made in the USA 4513 Garnett likes to point out that there is an, an, a small 9 there underlined but when you search them on Sears' website you don't have to enter the 9 in order to come up with the right part number also this Craftsman imported 44202 18 inch uh, half inch drive breaker bar so how much would you guys expect to pay for this stuff all very usable stuff some of you might look at these little ignition pliers and think they're kind of gimmicky but uh, they actually come in handy at times having a set that small so two Craftsman USA made tools and one imported Craftsman How much would you expect to pay? What if I told you I paid, not including sales tax, I paid under $9 for these three items in total? How did I do that? Well, the Sears app, signing up for Shop Your Way through the Sears app. Most of you have smartphones. You can download the Sears app and they send you surprise points, bonus points, etc 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 so for all these things and like I said if you buy just the, the snap ring pliers off the off the snap on truck as blue point you're gonna pay like I think 53 or 54 dollars that's the price they have listed online anyway and I, I get that some of you do this professionally and you don't want to deal with having to warranty things out through a brick and mortar store it's worth the extra cost for you to deal with the the tool truck vendor. I totally get that. I see where you're coming from, but for DIYers like me looking for deals for stuff that we can actually use, this is a great deal. So I'll give the price breakdown and the item numbers and all that in the description of the video, but I thought I'd just make a short deal alert video. These three items total, not including sales tax, less than $9. So, all right, you guys, have a good one.